guys my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let's Code. Today in this video we are going to learn how to create a sidebar panel in our Chrome extension. So far we are able to do the right click and click on get xpath and it is going to give us the xpath um, but most of the users prefer to uh, take the xpath from the devtools console I mean from the devtools so that is this particular area right. So what we are going to do actually is we are going to give a, a sidebar panel here so so when when user click on any of this element the xpath is going to show there as we see in our um, crow path extension right so same kind of thing we are going to do this but uh, i am not personally a fan of that um, but of course most of the users prefer that so of course as a developer it's uh, responsible to make sure that users getting whatever they uh, wanted right so we are going to see how to do that. Now there are two types of um, panels actually in Chrome extension. So if you head over to this particular URL, you can see here we have this uh, two types of extensions. So one is this after the besides the element panels. So that is known as sidebar panel. And here in this particular place you can see right. So that is known as panel. So there are two things. One is the side panels and another one is the sidebar panels right. So we are going to use this sidebar because of course we want to click on the elements. So this is not going to help us for sure. So but the code base is going to be very same just in case if you have any other ideas maybe you can implement that as well. So now let's get started and check uh, how to do this. So even I am doing this for the first time. So I am going to most of the time going to do the copy and paste I think. So let's see here. So first we have to uh, go to this particular page and here we can see the documentation. The first thing of course we have to say to our manifest that okay there is a new guy in our extension so that's going to be devtools page and here we have to specify html page so let's copy this and if i go to my manifest.json and we can paste it anywhere doesn't matter that so here we are going to say devtools page and then followed by some name so i'm just going to create a page within this name so So this is going to be exactly same. So whatever the names we are going to specify here, that should be specified here. Now this is just a file name, uh, not anything like keyword or anything. This guy is a keyword. This guy is our mm, file name. So I'm just going to do the same file name. So nothing wrong about it. And within this SRC folder, now we are going to create another folder for DevTools files. So DevTools, uh, just to segregate nothing much here. And let's see what the document says after that. So here, if I go to this particular place, here you can see uh, we are interested on this, right? So if I click on this, and this is for creating the panel. So we don't want that. We want the sidebar panel, right? So here it says that chrome.devtools.panels.elements.create sidebar panel. And then it needs a two arguments. So one is the panel name, and another one is the callback function okay so i got it i think let's go to our html file first so within this i'm just going to give exclamatory and hit enter so that is going to give us this template here and here let's change the name to let xpath our product name and then of course we need a js file here so i'm just going to give js file script src and here we are going to create a um js file first so within the devtools folder i'm just going to create a file called devtools.js in the html file we have to uh, look at this particular file here i'm just going to write a console.log here we might not able to see this in our console log but i will show you how to see that okay and here we are going to give the path so it should be And do we need to write anything within the body? Not really. So we don't use this file that much. This is just like our, uh, uh, just to make understand that, okay, we have something and that is going to take this devtools.js file. That's it. So I'm just going to copy this code and here I'm going to paste it. And within this, uh, let's see what the data we want. So we don't know what is this as of now. So I'm just going to remove this. And then here it should be taken name here. So of course I'm going to give a name as let x path. And here it needs a callback function. 
So let's do that. So here I'm just going to use the arrow syntax and almost done. Now within this, what we have to do, we are not going to do anything. Just let's write a some callback function. And here we will say, um, hey, just a message, right? So that's it, fine, we are done, I believe. So let's go back to our browser and here, if I go to this Chrome colon slash slash extension, and here we are going to load the data first. So if I go to this and, okay, so we are able to get this. Now let's go and visit our play.letco.in. And within this, within this any page, it doesn't matter. So if I go to this inspect, and here you can see right we are able to get this let x path and once we click on this of course this is not going to change anything because we didn't write code for that yet um we'll do that probably in the next video so i just want to show you how to how we can get this uh, sidebar panel and here we are, can see we are not able to get any console.log and even if i go to this console we are not able to get anything here so this the reason is in this particular this thing also we have another console uh, so maybe we'll see that maybe in the next video. So how to get that because if I do right click here, oh, of course, I'm not going to get anything. So we'll talk about this maybe in the next video. As of now, we understand that how to create the sidebar panel. And just in case if you are interested on to create this panel as well. So I'm just going to copy this just to show you quickly. And if I go back to my extension and refresh and uh, of course, we have to close this and refresh and then open this again and here you can see we are able to get this like text path and up and other than that also we are getting this my panel right so this is actually this panel so this is the panel name so if i try to rename this as like text path and it needs some icons and html of course we do not have anything here uh, but that's okay i believe as of now so i'm just going to close this and refresh and refresh the page again and here right click and inspect here you can see we are able to get this let x path and of course if we go to this element tab and here also we can see we are able to get the this thing right so that's it guys uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video if so do let me know in the comments and if you have any queries do reach out to me on the comment section or the linkedin i'll be very happy to resolve whatever you have queries if i know of course so thanks guys thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon take care